and a boot. Cowboy, grab your seat and set them tight. The riding's rough, but the pay is right if you ride them. Cowboy, ride them, cowboy. Malay, with the only station in the valley that plays light rock with less talk and at least four songs in a row. Great music for work or anywhere. K Light 99 FM. Welcome back. This is Backstage Pass. My name is Joel Samuel, and with me tonight is Lisa Malay from K Light. Hi, Joel. How are you doing tonight? Good, thanks. Well, tell me how you get how a woman gets started and gets a foothold in this man's market. <laughs> well, um, for one, I never thought that. It was really thought of it as a man's market, although radio very much is. I don't think television is as much, but radio is definitely, uh, I think the voice thing kind of, you know, set the stage for that. But I never thought of it like that, so I, you run into some problems, but, but mainly, you know, if, if you think of the this discrimination thing, you can make a lot more of it if, you know. Now that you're as recognized as you are, you, you were mentioning that you, when you go into clubs and people come up to you and ask you for autographs, <laughs> and you're usually too blitzed to be able to Yeah, to did sign. I say that? <laughs> this, is, say this is for the audience right here. <laughs> we're going to let that one slip. No. Um, it usually does happen that way. When I was walking into a, a 7-Eleven or plug, no, a, a store, convenience store the other day to get gas and and walked in, and the minute I walked in the door, the clerk says, Lisa Malay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, what do I look like? And I'm not, I don't, uh, it's kind of funny. It doesn't happen very often. So the backstage cactus was telling me, and for those people at home, that you are married, and you've been married since November. Mm hmm So how's that going? Great. And you're married to somebody mm -hmm. that's also involved in entertainment and, mm -hmm. in a roundabout way. He works for the Coliseum. Mm hmm That's great. It's working great. Yeah, right? still when your marriage honeymoon. works, it works great. So for all those people out there that think of you as their hot heart throb, you heart are throb. married. <laughs> heart throb. <laughs> she is married, and uh, um, yes, and happily so. So, how long have you been in radio? Um, altogether, close to five years. Five Not really years. very long. And how long have you lived in this market? Three, about three and a half years. And you've been working that whole time with K-Lite? Yeah. About a month after I got here, I applied at K-Lite and started. It was, uh, they were, I don't know if you remember KBBC, but mm -hmm. um, I worked for KBBC for one week and then it changed to K-Lite. So, no, they changed the calls. They were all practically through the transition then. So K-Lite's so much different from the other stations. You're uh, less talk, more rock. I keep getting that screwed Light up. rock, less talk. There, you got and it. And right. always four songs <laughs> in a row. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there's no flashy personalities. You're like a facilitator. Mm -hmm. And um, have you ever had thoughts of being like a female Dave Pratt or <laughs> morning person? Has Dave outrageous? Pratt ever thought of being a female? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm sure he is on some <laughs> nights out. <laughs> um, oh, more and more, you know, the farther you get into anything, you want to expand and build on it, and and I, I I do, but at the point I'm at, I'm real happy with K-Life. First lesson is you have to do your show in red underwear, and, and then you can be like <laughs> Dave Pratt. No, I wouldn't follow in his footsteps. I think of something, something else. I don't think I could ever do that every day, anyway. So you worked as a production assistant at KTAR, mm -hmm. and what did that entail? Recording. Uh, commercials. The glitter. Yeah, the glamorous stuff. And now you're doing commercials One around town and being very visible. Yeah, somebody else can record my commercials now. <laughs> so you're one of the two top female personalities in the Valley, you and Carlotta Sales. In good company. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, I forgot easy credit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, Great being here. <laughs> <laughs> You're originally from Kansas City. Uh huh. Kansas so, City, Missouri. How about those Royals? Is I'll that probably your pay for that remark. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, that your home, or is that yes. somebody? Well, that's where I grew up. And you yeah. went to school for broadcasting. No, 
That seems to be the consensus of, of most of the DJs we've had on the show, mm -hmm. that they don't, they don't believe in the broadcast schools. They kind of say, you know, there's no real need to go to them, that it's kind well, of... Well, I think that no matter how you get into it, if you make the most of it. I mean, there are people that, that have gotten into it through the broadcast schools, and, um, but that's not going to get you there. You know, you can't go to one of those schools thinking that now I'm going to be Dave Pratt. Or, and most of those kids, that's what they think. They want to be a drive a fast car and be, you know, they think of the movie FM or something. And then, um, um, that's The real the story case. is you start out as a receptionist and work right, your way up. Right, right, and work late hours and part-time and as a waitress, you know, when you're not doing that, so. Is it true that um, DJs make a lot of money? Definitely. Oh, I'd love to. That's, you know, that's a goal. But right now, I'm going this way and my goals are over here. So, you know, I'm trying to kind of uh, work the two together a little bit. And I did some fill-in work at KTAR for uh, vacations for the host, you know, which is, which is a step in the right direction. But I think I might, I might go back to school and, and uh, learn some things. Because as, ever since I got into radio, it was just one thing after another, you know. And then I reached my goals a lot sooner than what I thought I would. So now I... I need to kind of go back and, and pick up, now that I, I have a better idea of where I'm heading, you know, pick up some skills, I think. Well, like now the audience has had a chance to see you, the voice that they've been so accustomed mm -hmm. to. And thanks a lot for being a part of the show. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned. There's a lot more to come.